Hello there. Um, question for you. Do you have an SSD in your laptop? A lot of people do these days, um, and they're really good. Um, huge improvement over years ago when we were using laptops with uh, spinning disks. Massive upgrade, makes a fantastic difference. Next question is, have you already installed the SSD Keeper software from Conducive Technologies? If you have, fantastic. You're already well aware of the benefits that it provides and uh, probably don't need to watch the rest of this video. <laughs> but if you haven't, what I'd like to do is uh, a little demonstration and show you, my, show you why you might want to check it out. Um, you can get hold of the fully, uh, fully featured 30-day trialware at conducive.com slash try. Um, but yeah, for the, to demonstrate it, I've got two identical... Dell XPS 15 laptops. They've got the same spec. Um, they've both got 16 gig of RAM, um, an i7 processor, and of course they both have SSD storage. So what I'm going to do is hook these up on the desk. I'll remote onto them so that we can switch to the big screen, make it easier to easier to see, rather than <laughs> try and squint at uh, two little laptop screens from uh, all the way over there. Um, and I'll run a benchmarking tool called Atto disk benchmark um, and we'll see what sort of difference the RAM caching technology makes to laptops with SSD storage. Does it improve the, the transfer rate of the read IO traffic? Let's see. I'll hook these up. We'll flip over to the main screen and uh, yeah, we'll run the test and, and have a look and see. Okay, so I've got everything set up. Um, we've got a remote session onto both of the laptops, and I'm running a copy of the Atto Disk Benchmark tool. Um, and what we'll do is have this generate a whole bunch of storage I.O. traffic to the SSDs that are in the respective laptops. Now, the one on the right is the machine that has the SSD Keeper software installed. Okay, The one on the left doesn't have it. So the one on the left really is our vanilla benchmark. Um, so what I'll do, I'll start um, the Atto Disk benchmark running just a moment, and it'll step through creating different sizes of storage I.O. traffic. It'll start very small at just 512 bytes, and it will step up, uh, right up to uh, 64 megabyte sized I.O.s. Um, and what I'll do, I'll run the test several times, maybe three times, to give the telemetry driver that's in the SSD Keeper software a chance to figure out what have become the hot blocks of data that we're accessing often and to get that data into the RAM cache so that it can really make a difference. Um, and for the eagle-eyed among you, let's see if you can spot the point at which that happens. Keep an eye on the bars that are going to appear in the, in the bar chart here. And the ones to really keep an eye on are the grey bars representing the read I.O. traffic. Because that's what we're going to try and serve up from the RAM cache in SSD Keeper. The more of that read traffic we can satisfy at the speed of RAM rather than the speed of the SSD storage, the greater the transfer rate in megabytes per second is going to be, the faster it can process data. Um, so I'll go ahead and run this a few times. I'll speed this bit up, um, really, just so that you're not sitting there for minutes on end <laughs> watching it happen. And we'll we'll get to the results in just a moment. Okay, you can definitely see the point at which that data started getting served up by the RAM instead of the uh, SSD storage. Um, so let's run this one last time now that it's figured out what it needs to be in the RAM cache and then we'll we'll compare the results at the end. Okay, test is finished and it's quite conclusive. Now let me just scale the bar charts so that they're exactly the same scale factor. There we go. So it's pretty obvious looking at those gray bars that introducing intelligent RAM caching can really help boost the performance of that read transfer rate. Uh, 
SSDs are already very fast, which is fantastic. But look what a difference that SSD Keeper software makes. Now, another thing that you might be aware of, you might not, I don't know, but it's kind of a, a dirty little secret about SSDs. And that is, regardless of, of the SSD Keeper software, when you're running an SSD, the reads are always going to stay nice and fast, as they would on day one. But the write performance can degrade over time as you start using the drive and you have to start doing more and more erase write cycles as you're writing data to them. The more erase write cycles you have to do, the longer that write is going to take. And it can be quite a significant performance degradation as well. Um, and of course, the more erase write cycles you do, the quicker that SSD is, is going to wear out. The SSD Keeper software has technology in it that is specifically designed to help prevent or keep at a minimum those erase write cycles that are required. So not only does it give you the performance boost from the RAM caching, it also prevents the write performance from degrading the more you use it and should keep that SSD drive usable for longer. So pretty handy piece of software. Um, now, what's that I hear you ask? How much is it? <laughs> well, for a, a, a single copy for use on a, a laptop or a workstation, um, it's about £70, pounds, 70 quid. Um, but we do also uh, offer some pretty significant uh, quantity discounts. So if you wanted to buy it for all of the laptops at work, it, we can give you a significantly... Uh, cheaper unit cost or license cost than that so if you want to find out um, how to get the best price for what you need give us a call uh, I can never remember our own number <laughs> it's uh, 01483 342360 give us a call request a quotation and we'll make sure you get the very best price for the software um, I hope this has been useful. Uh, please do feel free to get in touch. You can download the uh, trialware version of the software for free. Uh, that'll run fully featured for 30 days. You can get that by going to our website at conducive.com slash try. Um, there's a little registration page there, uh, but you'll get a download link a minute or so after submitting that. Give it a try. See what sort of difference it can make uh, to the workloads that you run in your machine. So I hope this has been useful. Um, yeah, look forward to uh, hearing from you. Take care, all.